What is light? If you go to Harvard University, from where I got recognition, you can go to one of the physics classrooms and you will hear a voice coming out from all directions. God said the three dimensional divergence of an anti-symmetric second rank equals zero and there was light. Just like everything else in modern science, our understanding of light, light comes from Sir Isaac Newton. Oh. He was the first one to understand the rainbow. He oh. He refracted white light using a prism and separated it into its component colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. A beam of light hits a piece of glass straight on, it passes right through. The waves that make up the light actually get slowed down by the glass and only go back to their normal speed when they come out of the other side. That slowing down is what causes white light to split into a rainbow of color whenever it hits glass on an angle. It happens because glass loses some colors of light more than others. The difference between the marker you are holding and the sun. Marker reflects light on a mid light. The light that hit my eye exactly originated 93 million miles away. They travel that 93 million miles before bouncing off the marker and it's bouncing into my eyes. Wow. Um, but what exactly is uh, is emitted from the sun? Is it is it a particle like an atom or is it a wave like a, a wave on the surface of a pond? Newton used light as a particle so he could explain ref refraction. Refraction is when you something bends. Put something from air into water. Max Planck do. He discovered E equals HF. Oh, okay. God, it literally took him five hours to write H because he didn't want to violate Newton. Did Einstein do? He put a barrier in the behavior of light. Light can only go as fast as three times time raised to the power of eight. Wow. Okay. He also stated that light has a mass, and and therefore light must behave like a particle even though it is a wave. Hmm. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.